We've got some breaking news. Rakuten demands that we sign a Japanese player in the summer transfer window itself. We gotta get to work, guys. Otherwise, they might just pull our funding. Last episode, of course, we kicked off our La Liga campaign with our new created club. Didn't end well because we took an L, but oh well, it's just the start. We did see our number nine, the leader of this squad, Javier Presa, score a lovely header. Take a look. Is Presa good in the air? Real question is that now. He is good in the air. He's actually scored. Javier Presa, what a header. Remember the name, the first goal of our Spanish quest is scored by Javier Presa. We managed to sign Unai Simon with the Rakuten money and we're left with about 43 million. We need to sign a Japanese player and we need to get to it. Other signings need to be made as well. There's a lot to be done in this episode. Plus, in La Liga, got some tricky games coming up. We need to get our first win on the board. Now let's do this. There's so much to do, man, with this squad. We need to sort out our midfield. Probably the right back position, maybe the right wing position. There's a lot of work here. There's going to be transfers. There's going to be drama. If you're excited for another episode of the Creator Club series and want to see more, drop a like in the video. 8,000 likes and I'll get you an episode tomorrow and we'll continue our journey on a daily basis. Subscribe as well for daily FIFA 22 career mode content let's go we've got a press conference to kick this off you guys are getting involved through the comments and the first one already is about the japanese player we need to bring in because of that rakuten deal there's a reason they're giving us that 70 million and we need to pay them back so sign takifu sakuba for the sponsor he's young a lot of potential would be realistic as well because he plays for mallorca that's where the problem lies our boy takifu sakubo unfortunately is on loan at Mallorca. He would literally be perfect, man, on the right side of the attack and a player we can build the team around. It's a real shame, but we're gonna have to look elsewhere. Next up, you could get Tomiyasu for the Japanese player you need to sign. Now we're talking. He could play centre back and right back. We probably need him to play right back. A lot of potential. It's either Tomiyasu or Minamino. Okay, good options. I'm pretty convinced Tomiyasu is the man if we can afford him because. He, he should be like 76, 77 rated. And the potential is there. It's just, I think, made for it to happen. We need to make this happen. Let's see. The thing with Minamino is we'll put him on a scouting report. But I, I feel like he being a center forward, like, I think the best we can do with him is make him back up to Javier Presa. Because I'm not too sure being 26 if he's like part of the plans. Okay, now this one could blow your minds away. You never use Gavi in a long-term career mode and because of his high potential and age, you can make him a beast. He's a higher overall than Cortez already and will slide in perfectly. He will lead the team in the long run. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why sign a Barcelona player do that enough? And the simple reason for that is we're using the realism mod and because of that, Pablo Gavi, have a look at this. He's got a realistic player face. I feel like there's no better opportunity to try him out. Plus, I think we could maybe even get a loan to buy deal on him. And it'll be just perfect. We're already lacking in the midfield department. So, I, I think it would be a transfer that would just be tremendous for us. So, I really want to do it. We'll have to see if we can convince Barcelona to let go of their crown jewel. Would be an incredible signing. That's that for the press conference, boys. Make sure to keep your comments coming in. The first ever player of the episode award goes to the man who scored our first ever goal, Javier Presa. The 30-year-old is the talisman of this side, and I expect to see more of that from him. Talking about our star player, Javier Presa, look at this. We've got some facts about him. Invested all of his money in crypto. Lost it all. Wow. Became broken homeless. So Javier Presa's homeless, I guess. His old manager saw him playing football with a plastic bottle, instantly signed him up. Okay, played football in Spain, second division. Now joined S2G Club, the football to win titles. Fun fact, he drinks Prime before every match. Oh, okay. I don't know why I'm promoting KSI's Prime for free here, okay? KSI, you need to sponsor me for this. But anyways, 
a Xavier Presser for you. Okay, so a center mid and a right back, I guess, is what we're looking to sign in this episode. But I think a CDM is also needed. Maybe we'll keep that for the next episode because I'm not too sure if Schmidt is the player we need to lead this midfield, all right? Because he's 32. But we'll wait and watch how things unfold. I don't know if 43 million will be enough to do what we need to do. So let's see. By the way, our objective this season is to avoid relegation. Fair enough. This is the moment of truth, guys. We have our scouting report on Gavi. With the mods, he's got a real player face. But also, because of that, he starts at a 70 overall. That's fine. That's that's okay. That means we can maybe get him for cheap. He's valued at 8 million. Okay, now. Okay, can we approach them for a loan deal? We can. If we can rock a loan to buy deal on Gavi, that would literally be perfect. Let's assume it's the Rakuten deal. Getting us the Barcelona contacts. There's Xavi coming in negotiating with us. Is he going to let Gavi go on loan? Let's see. Loan to buy. What's going to happen here? That sounds practical. Barcelona are willing to let this happen. A one-year loan deal. Okay, they're willing to work with that. Wages, 50-50 sounds fair. That's all we gotta pay. Look at this. This is a no-brainer. Oh my god. Transfer fee. I'm thinking 9 million sounds fair. 9 million for Gavi after a season. That's unbelievable in my opinion. And it works. It absolutely works. Gavi on loan at S2G Club The Football. We're going to have to sim through a few days to see if he's willing to accept this. But a transfer that's going to... I don't think he's going to, like, start over Cortez already. Because Cortez is, I think, still a bit higher rated. But I think it's in our best interest to play Gavi more and more. And I'm glad we're doing this. Now, we just got to wait and see if he'll accept. Early signs. Tomiyasu is going to be a bit of an expensive pickup. But we need that Japanese player... And I'm thinking, let's do it now. We're going to have to anyway wait for Gavi's decision for a few days. So let's try and secure the Tomiyasu transfer. 27 million is what we'll need to pay to get him. It's expensive, guys, but I, I know I'm paying for quality. The fact that we're getting Gavi on a loan deal, I think we can spend the money here and still have money left. 27 million, okay? So let's try 25 for Tomiyasu. What's Arsenal gonna say? 6% sell-on clause, 25 million works. That sounds like a bargain. We'll get our Japanese player for the objective and a right back that's genuinely gonna be here for as long as we can keep him, I guess. 6% sell-on clause as well. I'm accepting it. There you freaking go. 25 million transfer fee as well. Let's do this. Let's freaking do this now i want to negotiate this right now if you're wondering why we've got our next game against real betis and i'd love to have him in the squad before that next game so let's get this done right now all right here we are negotiating with tommy arsi wants a crucial squad role as expected five-year deal is he willing to accept that my man there you go perfect no release clause he wants one he wants one okay in La Liga, release clauses are compulsory. We didn't do it for Unai Simon. You know what, guys? I'm not going to include it in this series. To keep it different from the Wolves one where we had a team of release clauses, let's keep it different here. You know, we'll, we'll have a different team in this series. All right, so we need to give him a bit of a wage bump to convince him to join our club. But 80,000 per week, 150 in signing bonus. That should be good enough, I reckon. Let's see. And it is Tomiyasu joins our club we get that japanese player sorted oh look at that tomiyasu 77 rated that improves our defense massively wow straight away chucking a plan to improve his pace because he needs it attacking wide back or wing back i think wing back wide back actually works best for him because he gets that pace boost in like 21 weeks we'll do that now we do have excess right backs at the club um i think we can sell this guy tibor oh actually we should sell Tomas Gonzalez. We've already got an offer for him for 5.6 million, the Chilean. Unfortunately, I don't think he's going to really have a good career here because he's 25. We've got Tomiyasu. I'd rather keep the Serbian, Tibor Nestorovsky. I think I've said his name right. It just makes sense, you know, to keep him because he's 70 rated already. Yeah, I think I'm going to sell Gonzalez. We'll take the 5.6 million for him. We've now got our signing, Tomiyasu, ready to play for our next game in La Liga. And it's time to get into that. It's time to play Real Betis away from home. This is going to be tough. We need to get our first win on board. 
I love it, boys. We're using our away kits for this one. That's the team we're rocking. I really feel we're in a desperate need for a CDM. That's something we need to sort out ASAP. Otherwise, we're going to have problems. Anyways, for this game, that's our lineup. Real Betis have got Fekir and all. This is not going to be an easy game. They're one of the better teams in La Liga. By the way, yep, the beard's gone. I was shaving, guys, and I accidentally trimmed a bit too much, which meant I had to get the beard out. Oh. Yeah, yeah, it's sad. But Beard 2G will be back soon. Uh, yeah, Beard 2G will be back. Oh, the new kits. Oh my god. They look amazing. I saw a few comments saying that the kits this season are so much better than what we had in the English edition of the S2G FC. But these look so freaking good. I love it. Absolutely do. They look even better on the pitch, man. I love it. I love the blue and white. It just goes well. Now we've got the get great, our kids are amazing, but there's no point if we can't win a game of football. So let's try and get our first win. Real Betis will be a tremendous club to get a victory against. One more thing you would have noticed, with the realism mod, gameplay is a lot slower and more realistic. And that's causing me a lot of problems, I'm going to have to adapt here. Alonso, out wide for Tomiyasu, our new signing. Remember guys, he's going to have a big fan following at this club. With all the Japanese links we've got here now. Navarro is on it. And is there an option to maybe go for a cross? There is. We are going for it. It's decent. Mm. How have we not scored there? What a save from the Betis keeper. That was an unbelievable chance for us. Oh. Okay, there's an injury to Hector Bellerin. Thankfully, it's not one of our players. But hopefully, swift recovery for Bellerin. But it's not looking good for him. Gallardo. Smart play to look for Lopez. See Schmidt. We've criticized him a lot, and, well, there's why. The good thing is Real Betis play a very high line, and I'm already, you know, slightly being able to get in behind their defense. So, if we can keep this up and hit them on the breakaway, could be the game where we get our first win as a football club, as we're trying to do that again with Navarro. He heads it down, gets in behind. Still Navarro, but that's brilliant defending from Betis. Joaquin. Oh, that's, that's a problem. It's a good ball in for Fekir. Still Nabil Fekir going backwards for Guadar. I don't want to concede now. I feel like we deserve a lot better in this game than going a nil down. Unai Simon is there. Good save. I'm glad we signed Unai Simon. That experience he's got in La Liga, I think, is surely going to help. They still have a chance. Nabil Fekir, no! What's happened there? Unai Simon catches it for a second. I thought we were going to concede a comical goal. Oh, here's Tomiyasu on the run. Let's see what he's all about going forward. Tomiyasu seems decent. Early cross in. What was that for a cross? I don't know, Jeff. Okay, now Lopez. Seeing Pressa. Hey, that is a bad challenge. Actually, it was pretty good, honestly, Fal. Being real as we've sent this one through for Cortez. Chance for him to get a goal for us. He just didn't shoot and he goes down tumbling. Cortez. That's exactly why we're trying to sign Gavi. Oh, that's... that's uh, it's, a, it's a race between Cabrera and, of course... Ooh. How have we kept Bruh. that in? What on earth has just happened? Unai Simon saves it. No, my God. What was that? The most comical goal you'll ever see. Real Betis take the lead. Shocking. Absolutely shocking from us. What on earth was that? I have no words. Look at the state of this. Unai Simon even kept it out, but the post. The freaking post, man. That was all Unai Simon, a massive mistake on his part. And that means we're losing another game. I I'm not a fan of this. 1-0 down at halftime, especially to that goal. It's annoying. That's such a good ball for Christian Dello early in this first half. But Tomiyasu showing why we paid that much money for him. Like, absolutely amazing there. And he's just pushing off Christian Tello. Can drive the ball forward, does so Navarro. And now I see a bit of space. Gallardo is running. Our captain Gallardo with a chance. Goes for goal. Bang. What a finish. Our number seven in the second half. Gets our equalizer. Gallardo, one of the highest rated players. One of the superstars of the team. The man with the armband gets us the equalizer. A lovely finish as well. Put his foot right through it. Pressa with the assist. Unbelievable. Look at that for a finish. Wow. Let's go, boys. We get the equalizer against Real Betis. He was getting pushed by Pizella all the time over there, but stuck it through and then bang. What a finish. Let's go. Francisco Gallardo gets the goal. And, well, we're back in it.
That's only our second goal in this club's history, man. Unreal. By the way, credit to Tomiyasu. He played a big part in starting that move. What a shining he's been already. Navarro now. He's got that pace. Looking for Pressa now. What can Pressa do? Looks to bring it inside. It's brilliant from Pressa. Unbelievable. He gets another shot at it and he scores. That was unreal from Pressa. Got very lucky with the rebound. But ultimately, you have to get in that position. Did a few roulettes. Skills. Everything. That's Javier Pressa for you. He may be homeless and broke, but I don't think he's going to be that for any longer because we're paying him well. Look at that. Javier Pressa. Unreal. We get the goal. We're in the lead. Oh my goodness. Away against Betis. Let's go. Javier Pressa, two in two. Oh, that's a good ball from Borja Iglesias for Christian Teo. Got it. We got to get it off him. Can't. Moreno. It's good stuff. Good defending once again. We're really finding our rhythm in this game. Betis playing such a high line has helped us out massively. Cortes. Pressa again. Difficult angle. Can't get the shot off this time. Bayardo from distance goes for goal and if he would have scored that, goal of the season contender right there. Don't forget guys, Betis are still in this game. It's only a goal and they're playing at home. That's brilliant stuff from our captain Gallardo. They were offside anyway, but you can see the desire there. He leads by example. Oh, we've given away a free kick. That was a foul? Are you kidding me? I thought he was offside. Fekir puts it in. They've completely wasted it. Not really. Fekir still has it. They look for Borga Iglesias. Inside for Nabil Fekir. we got to get this one away. Gallardo clears. By the way, Cortez being only 82 rated seems like a bit of a scam. He feels so much more OP than that. He's going to look for that cross. Well, just as I was praising him, the cross was pretty bad. But Lopez keeps it in. Puts the ball again inside. Gallardo just going for a bicycle kick there. We still have it with Cortez. Beats his man. Looks for the ball back in. Decent. I uh, bet he survived that. Oh, Fekir goes through at the dead. Fekir goes through at the dead. Ah, look at the way the players dropped on their feet. Ah, oh, that, that, that is so crushing, man. That is so crushing. We played so well. We deserve three points. But Real Betis at the end with the quality they've got. Get the goal. Nabil Fekir. What a finish. Wow. Outside the box as well. That's unreal. Can't stop that. Then again, at least we're getting a point from this, I guess. That's the only positive I can see. It's full time. One point away against Betis. Well, at least we've got some points on board. Our first point in La Liga history. Yeah, it's an achievement. Hopefully we can build on this. Yo, Press's development plan is complete. He went up to an 81 overall, but now that means... Don't think he's going to go up in his overall for a while. I guess we then... Oh, he doesn't. There isn't a single plan that boosts his weak foot. What? That makes no sense. Unreal, man. Unreal. Not a single plan. Oh, if we try to make him a left back, I think we can work on his weak foot, but I, I don't think that works. I really don't think that'll work. So I guess let's just maybe try and improve his skill move rating. Soon we should have news about Gavi. And there you go. Gavi's been loaned in. Unreal. Straight away going to put him on the bench. And now we can use Gavi. Three star skills. Three star weak foot is a bit meh. But he's got some good stats all round. 70 rated. Enormous potential. I think we're going to have a lot of fun with him. The best part about this, it's a loan deal. We're p basically paying nothing right now. It's And we can literally sign him whenever we want for that 9 milli. So we'll probably do that next season. But I'm glad we've loaned him in. It'd be crazy to think if I'm not going to set a development plan on our boy Gavi. It's got to be box to box. He needs to improve the dribbling, the pace, and the shooting for now. Okay, guys, I don't think I want to make any more signings in this episode. We will still have time after the Osasuna game to make more signings, potentially on deadline day. And I can only see one position where we need a big improvement now. Cortez is not too bad as a centre mid. We've got Gavi there as well. We need, I think, a CDM because I'm not too convinced with Schmidt. He's 32. He's only going to get worse. Maybe we keep this signing for January or we do it now. I need your, you guys' suggestions to, you know, make the decision. Who do we sign in CDM? By the way, we sold Gonzalez, the 73 rated right back. And that means we got more money to work with, 22 million. It was obvious after signing Tomiyasu. I really think against Osasuna, we've got a great chance of getting our first win 
on board. So for this game, it's time to also give Gavi his debut. So super excited to see what Gavi is all about in this one. That's going to be the team we rock. Let's do this, man. Let's do this. And here we go, guys. Up against Osasuna. We've got the home kits for this one. Gavi's first touch as an S2G CF player. Let's go. He's already making those runs in behind. Looking for that pass for Pressa. Tries to just go for goal there. That was never going to work. Haven't seen much from Lopez, even though he's one of the higher rated players in this side. I've seen a lot from Navarro. Press has been the main man for us as we try and put this ball in for him, but David Garcia just pushed him away. Looking for Navarro, and here's Pressa now. What can he do? He beats his man brilliantly. Javier Pressa, what a chance. Left footed attempt. Gets saved. We still have it with Navarro as he tries to put this one in. Gallardo's header is off the bar. We still have a chance with Pablo Gavi going for goal with the finesse shot. Gavi on his debut has just done that. Can you believe this? We've got him literally on a 3,500 euros per week wage. Unbelievable. And this is what he produces on his debut. Gavi has just done that. The keeper was off position, but still, how has Gavi managed to catch him out like that? On his weak left foot, Pablo Gavi announces himself with a goal like that. Unreal. Potential goal of the season contender? I very much think so. Gavi is here. What a goal. His first in La Liga. And that was beautiful. Well, not first in La Liga because he did score for Barcelona in La Liga. First for us, I guess. Pressa again was so key in that involvement there with this player. As he now tries again with a bit of trickery. Looking for that ball to Gallardo. Things are looking so much better in this game. But cleared away by Sasuna. We're looking a lot better than them. And we need the three points here now. One thing I'll say about Schmidt, he has a presence with his height and everything. So that's there. That's that's working in his favor. As we attack now with Navarro. Looking to get past this man. Does fairly well. Maybe a finesse shot. Well, um, that was, that was bad. Leado. Good ball for Gavi. I'm just going to go for goal once again. Well, he yeah, it's not going to happen always. Tomiyasu. Navarro back for Tomiyasu. I'm loving Tomiyasu so much. He just feels so strong in that right back role. I think as we get his pace start up, it's just going to get even better. Good ball for Pressa. As he tries to flick it up, he does so. What a goal from Javier Pressa. He's something special, man. Javier Pressa is something special. What did he just do there? Flicked the ball up, flicked it back and bang. Yo, he is owning La Liga. Talk about being broken homeless. I know his contract's expiring. We gotta change that situation. We gotta change that situation and give Javier Pressa a new contract. He is just unbelievable, man. What a goal. Guys, guys, we need a proper look at this. We need a proper look at this. Back against goal. Flicks it up once. Decides to flick it up again. No chance for the defender. Then he just smacks it away. What a game this has been. Guys, Pablo Gavi just feels like he is everywhere on the pitch. That's something I'll say about him. Gallardo now with a chance. What can he do? Stops it. But that's uh, not good play from him there. Halftime, best performance I think we've had in this series. Gavi again, looking for Pressa in that centre forward role. Ah, that was, that was good play. I was trying to get past him with like a shimmy or something. Controversial, but I'm going to make a couple of changes now. I want to see what Chavez can do in the attack. We need to try out most of this squad. Actually, more importantly, Galvan would be nice. The Austrian, one of the only Austrians we've got in the team. Let's try him out because Lopez barely done anything. He should be one of the best players in this team. Haven't seen much from him, so we'll try out Galvan. I also want to try out Montero at left back for Cabrera. Chavez, we'll maybe keep him for another game because Pressa is on a roll. Just want to keep him playing. Got some new players playing for the first time for this club. Here's Galvan already on the attack. Could get his first assist. Finds Pressa. Goes for goal and he's missed. You can see him frustrated. The manager, we're frustrated as well. That was a chance. La Gallardo looking for Pablo Gavi. I'm going to take one from distance. I'm getting too excited with Gavi, man. Just too many long shots. I need to just calm down. Here we go with Javier Pressa. Seems to be in the mood. A shimmy inside. Looking for that pass for Galvan, the Austrian. I can't do much there. Just gets bullied off it. I think now for the last 10 minutes or so, we can see Chavez in action. So, yeah, let's see what he's all about. I'm going to just put him up top here as the striker to get the best out of him. 
We'll have him on. Get in behind. Stay forward. And let's see what Chavez can do. That's a good ball inside. Casas does very, very well there. Here goes Galvan. Looks for that ball for Chavez. That first touch let him down massively. Kike Barca on the attack. That's a good ball in. Get it away, boys. We can see no clean sheet for us, but good news. We're 2-0 up in this game. Now 2-1. So I think we'll still take home the three points. That's a relief. The game comes to an end. Our first ever win in this series. It's against Osasuna. And I'm so freaking happy about this. Let's go. Gavi with an incredible moment to mark his debut. And then, of course, Javier Presa doing what he does best. There he is. Unbelievable. Look at that. We're seeing some player growth already. Navarro up to a 76. How long is he going to take to just keep growing? 28 weeks. So the player growth is not as OP as it was. Now, because the realism on, so there's that. But okay, that's good news. Navarro is growing. Already pressure's gone up. We need Gallardo to somehow go up. Alonso as well. But loving the look of this team. We just need that CDM in the next episode. With the money we've got, it's possible. Maybe we loan in a player. I don't know. You guys can let me know. But I think next episode's going to be key with transfer deadline day. Later, the episode's a bit of a tricky one because Javier Presa was amazing. But that moment Gavi had, what do we reward? It's a tough one. Let me know what you think. Crazy how we're ending off the episode being 7th in La Liga. How have we done that? A win, a draw, and a loss. We've done everything in La Liga. Four points so far. Amazing. We're not done yet, though. we got to keep going as high up as possible. Next episode, one last transfer possibly in this window. If you're enjoying this series, you know what to do. Keep the support coming in. The story, the drama of the Creator Club series continues. Drop like, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace.